Hello guys, my name is Jesper Nissen and in this video I will show you how I rank number one in Google in five days. So if you stick around to the end, I am sure that you will pick up some on-page SEO strategies that will help you improve your SEO game. And uh, I'd encourage you to uh, head over to Facebook and search for this Facebook group Local SEO Tips and Strategies because in here, in, in this group, I share all of my knowledge and my secret tips and I'm not the only one sharing. So yeah, try to find that. So five days ago on the 6th of December, I uploaded this video, how to enter schema in WordPress. And in this video, I show my process of how I'm using my uh, app called Schema Writer to produce schema. And I also show the process of how to insert this schema and the content into a WordPress site. And I used my own websites schema writer as the uh, test bed for the software and for the process and I optimized I ran some optimized schema reports for the uh, term automated web page schema and so uh, what happened was that of course I'm tracking my progress I'm tracking you know the results of my testing and uh, what happened was it uh, it looked like this so on the 6th of December I inserted the schema contents and the optimized, the entity optimized content also. And on the 7th of December, I think that probably this is where Google crawled the web page because on the 8th of December, it jumped from position 10 to position, position three. Then a flatline here for three days. And yesterday it jumped up to position one where it is now. So if I go to Google, I search for automated web page schema. I'm now number one. I'm also number one in incognito and in Firefox. So it's, uh, I seem to be re relatively stable number one. And what's interesting about this result besides of course, number one is that uh, this, is, this featured snippet up here is based on the FAQ content. And the FAQ content is not something that I wrote, it's something that schema writer wrote. So you can see it here, it says an automated web page schema and software refers to a structured data format used by search engines to understand the content on web pages. And if I go to schema writer here and I find my report that I ran on the 6th of December, this is the guy here, I inspect it. Let's uh, see here, if I click here like this. So if I open the FAQ content, I can see here an automated web page schema software refers to a structure, blah, 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 and so on. So, um, so what I did was the process uh, of, of doing this is of course, you need to make sure that if I, I made sure that the uh, keyword that I wanted to rank for is actually in the H1. So this is the H1 and this is an H2. And I think that this is just ordinary constant P tag in HTML code. So automated web page schema and entity optimized content. That's my header. So uh, I placed the keyword here. I also placed the keyword in the uh, title, meta title of the page. It's done inside of the SEO Press Pro plugin that I use in WordPress. And uh, then I, I didn't do any further optimization. So I inserted the content. You can just rewatch the other video. I inserted the content down here, frequently asked questions. I didn't edit the content, just simply you know, took it as it is. Uh, and uh, then of course I inserted the, uh, the schema code. And so, so this is the constant that I inserted and this is the schema code that I inserted. So what I did before I inserted it was I clicked this copy button here. I went over to schema.org, .org, doot, like this. Click on validate, just to make sure that there are no mistakes, no errors, no bugs, there are no bugs. So, uh, and then I uh, used the plugin called header footer code manager. So the process is uh, relatively simple or was relatively simple. I used pro approximately, I made the video and then I made the uh, report and I, I uh, corrected, you know, I made sure that the keyword was here and the keyword was up here. So I used more or less 30 minutes in total. And you know, making the report in Schema Writer is relatively easy. First, I make my company information, and this is the company here, Schema Writer. We just click edit so you can see how it looks like. 
I filled in all of the information that I have currently on the Schema Writer company. <clears throat> so Schema Writer is owned by so Denmark, so that's we have a legal name here. It's going to be used in the organization schema. But besides that, uh, the company name in this case is Schema Writer. The legal name is, of course, the actual legal owner of the company. <clears throat> and then the address information, what I have. I don't have a Google business profile yet. And so therefore, I also don't have a latitude and longitude yet because it's not actually placed on the map yet. But uh, the other information I have, 24 hours open all day long. So, uh, and you can see the schema updating over here to the right, dynamically. And uh, social media, I didn't create those guys yet for schema right because it is so new. So if I had a Facebook, uh, you know, profile, I would, of course, I would just write in Facebook URL here. And then it's dynamically added to the code as a same as up here over here to the right, as you can see, um, which I don't. So, um, and then I go to Schema Writer, I click Generate New, my target keyword automated would be Schema, Schema Writer.ai, company is Schema Writer, of course, country I want to rank in is United States. And language is set to auto, so when it's set to auto, it's always English. So, and uh, of course you speak English in the United States, so I click Generate. And um, that's basically it. So once this report is run, I jump into the report. I uh, remove any unnecessary entities and, un and unneeded keywords. So what the uh, schema write application is doing now, it is scraping the entire content of the page and the headers. So the HTML content in the body section of the page, it's not scraping the header and the menu, and it's also not scraping the footer. So we uh, avoid these, uh, you know, privacy policy and all of these unrelated keywords or unrelated entities that are actually entities, privacy policy and privacy is an entity as it, it's recognized by Google as an entity. But it's not related to this content, so um, so that's why we are now only scraping the body content of the page, and um, yeah, and then it's simple. You know, I used a uh, plugin, good. header footer code manager to insert. It looks like this. Insert the homepage web page schema. Edit, good. and this is what it looks like. So relatively simple. Simply, uh, you know, the, the code that I inserted here in the schema.org validator, simply just, uh, where is it? Here it is. Simply insert it here and click save. And of course, delete the cache so that Google will actually be able to crawl the latest version of the website. And then I tweeted the um, web page on my, uh, I tweeted this, the homepage on the web page on my personal Twitter profile. Because I know that Google Google crawls my Twitter profile many times a day, and I also have noticed that many of my tweets are actually be, be they are they actually being indexed, <clears throat> probably because I added my uh, Twitter profile to my Google News profile from my Espanista.com website. I can show you that in another in another video. Let's just go back. Now it's generated, so this is report that I just generated. So let's see here. So uh, web page schema entities are here. Entities are here in the about and in the mentions, and these are the keywords. Uh, so, good. so yeah, and it's just, it's a, just a question of removing the unrelated keywords, the keywords that you do not want to have inside of your reports. Um, so yeah, that's basically it, guys. And uh, as you can see, it took me. It took me five days, and this is for a brand new website. As I showed you last time, it has uh, not much domain authority, domain authority of three. And uh, this is because it is a new website. I have got some backlinks now from AI aggregator sites, like there's an AI for that. Top AI tools, Toolify. I spent some money on uh, signing up for some of these resources, these websites, because 
These websites, they are AI aggregator websites. An AI aggregator website is a website like Schema Writer that uses different AI or da and or data sources to generate some outcome for you, the user. That's called an AI aggregator website. So I signed up uh, for these guys here, Product Hunt, Open Tools, Toolify. So uh, now it's not uh, one anymore, the domain authority, but still relatively new, but, uh, but it is a new website. So when you want to achieve good results, of course, for your keyword, it's necessary, as I told you in the beginning, that you need the keyword in the H1, the meta title, the URL. Now, it's, the URL is not, it's the homepage, so I don't have any you know, URL as such. Um, and then, of course, I think I also actually added the automated web page into the alt tag for this image. Uh, let's actually just see here, inspect. Can click on this here. Uh, uh, it's a WordPress code, so it's not super duper easy to see. But I do remember, okay, let me just close that. It's a little bit uh, confusing. But I do remember that when I uploaded uh, this image, uh, I actually added the, uh, the keywords automated web page into the alt tag for this image because everything helps, right? So you don't know, it's it's a sum of all the on-page factors that that helps you jump to uh, top three uh, or number one in this case. But uh, so it's the sum of all of the on-page SEO factors. But uh, yeah, it's not the first time that I've seen this work so well. So it's uh, something that I'm going to keep on testing and in different scenarios, both for new websites like this, rank and web websites or uh, more authoritative websites. So um, yeah, that was the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will do more testing and I will return with more promising results on this uh, new uh, tool, Schema Writer, that I developed. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's it for today. Take care, guys.